All right, everybody, this is Justin Williams, a boy. Happy New Year's 2022. So, ch ch changes, you know that song? I am here to give a very brief message. I haven't made videos for a while, so I want to give a short New Year's message. Take hope, because the one thing that is consistent is that change is inevitable. <clears throat> and I would encourage you to look forward to good things this new year. Um, no matter what you've been through, 2021 is now finished and new things have begun. So look forward to that something new that would come into your life that will be um, good, positive, and um, fulfill your heart's desire. That would be my hope, my prayer, and my wish for you. Um, I don't have a lot to say in this video other than that um, I am going forward with this. I'm going to continue to make content, provide content for um, this channel. A lot of my content may change. I'm kind of over it with the personality disorder stuff, but as you all know, I've said that many, many times and will probably revisit certain topics in those areas and um, give my insight, give my experience and clinical knowledge about that. However, I do want to make videos that also focus on um, my interests, hobbies, and a lot of my scholarly um, pursuits. And especially recently, I've been encouraged um, to continue on that path, which has been my intention. Um, originally, I started this video series making videos about um, NPD, an experience of mine with a personality disordered individual. However, um, I have a broad range of likes and interests, um, especially books, of, as many of you know, um, traditionalism, spirituality, uh, religion, philosophy, history, literature in general. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, just like in the Holy Scriptures, it says, Behold, I make all things new. Now is a new chance for you, a new year to get it right, to do it right. All of us make mistakes. All of us have so many shortcomings and flaws. However, if you're con it's, a, it's a constant process um, of working on ourselves, looking at ourselves, self-examining, and being able and willing to do the work. And my hope and desire for you would also be that you would have people that would love you around you to encourage you, to give you hope and uh, inspiration to go forward and to um, pursue those things that fulfill you the most. Putting yourself in that position to follow your bliss. As Joseph Campbell, the comparative um, mytholo uh, mythologist, um, scholar of comparative religion, said follow your bliss because that's where you're going to be most fulfilled whether that's vocationally or just in um, your life in general you can't really go wrong with that ad advice many of us have been given gifts all of us have been given gifts all of us have been given talents and so we ought to utilize those and um i'm really encouraged about doing that um to fill um, um, monetary needs this has been like a dry time for me with money i was very fortunate and very blessed to um, one, do well during the pandemic. I was very physically sick, but my needs are all met and taken care of. And then during the summer, um, I was doing very financially well. And then I made some decisions that um, caused some problems. But what I'm learning is to trust the process. And we know that money is energy. So um, just continue to be willing to do the work. Position yourself in a way that, you know, I mean, if you're stagnant and you're not making any movement or making decisions or going in any direction, but you're just kind of floating along through life, I can't really promise you much. But if you go forward and follow your passion and, and you follow the leadings and promptings of your heart, um, you're bound to end up successful. So that would be my advice about that. Um, and um, that would be it. Looking forward to new things, new beginnings, um, new relationships, um, new things vocationally for some of you. Um, you know, and also like New Year's resolutions, I, n I never really make those so much um, um, per se, but I do um, have aspirations and hopes and desires and dreams, as many of you do. So that would be my advice more than making some kind of resolution, whatever it would be, quit smoking or certain behaviors that you're not happy about with yourself, dieting, all those things. 
Um, look at more of becoming a whole and complete uh, human being. Look at more um, um, in an all-encompassing, um, holistic manner, um, um, making yourself healthy and happy, spiritually, intellectually, physically, all of those things. That would be my main advice for you. And take hope because change is um, happening. And um, always remember too, our thoughts are so powerful. Our thoughts determine our lives. And at any given time, you can have a negative or positive perspective. Like the Buddhist monk and hermit once said that all of us walking on this earth, our minds are in one place at any given time, whether that would be heaven or hell. So have heavenly thoughts, have thoughts that are pure and good. If you, We all have negative thinking patterns and you can just change and alter that and actually rewire your brain, which is a fascinating thing, which I've been considering um, lately and just conversing about um, how that happens. And so um, don't let negative thinking patterns control you. Practice thought replacement, simply discarding negative thoughts and replacing them with good, positive thoughts that are going to lead your actions. You know, thoughts, first there's a thought, it surfaces, and then we get to choose how we deal with that thought, and then <clears throat> the consequences of the actions that follow those thoughts, or not acting upon certain thoughts, and also there's consequences they can reap for that too. Usually um, not acting on a negative thought is going to have a positive result, and acting on a positive thought is going to have a positive re result. So think good thoughts. Be hopeful. It's a new year, um, 2022. Who would have thought? So this is Justin William Savoy. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, contact me at uh, SavoyJustin123 at gmail.com. S-U-V-O-Y-J-U-S-T-I-N at uh, 123 at gmail.com. I am out of town for a little bit, but I will be returning. So if any of you have needed to get a hold of me through Gmail would be the best way to reach me. Um, because I'm not home right now. I am um, out of town and uh, I will be back soon. All right. Thank you so much. Peace.